Hello and welcome to the Tray Bake Some More cooking channel. I'm Callie and today I've got another no-bake tray bake for you. These are no-bake coconut delights. It's still summer, it's still hot here in Massachusetts, so you know, I'm trying to avoid turning my oven on if I can help it. So a no-bake tray bake is definitely the way to go. Now I've zoomed in on this as much as I can here, right, without getting really, really close and blurry, but it's very hard to see, but there is a very fine, very thin layer of white chocolate at the bottom. This middle layer is desiccated coconut mixed with some condensed milk, some vanilla, and some icing sugar. Then you have a golden layer of caramel and dusted with toasted desiccated coconut. So yes, you have to make caramel. Everything else is very simple. You do have to make caramel, but as I'll probably say later, just take it easy, take it slowly, keep your heat low, keep stirring it. It might take you a little bit longer than you think it should, but you'll get there in the end and you'll have your caramel. Anyway, no big coconut delights, let's get baking. Okay, we are making a no-bake tray bake again today, so there is no need to turn on your oven. Prepare your tin as usual. I'm using my eight inch square tin, my 20 centimeter square tin, and probably for the first time, I've actually done one step before I've started uh, filming here. So, in my tin, I have already lined the bottom of my tin with white chocolate. So it's a very simple step. I didn't really feel the need to sort of fill myself melting some chocolate and pouring it over the base of the tin and I'm one step ahead of myself before I start here. So the very, very bottom layer of this tray bake is just a very thin layer of white chocolate. Melt that, spread it over the bottom of your tin. It's very thin to so just make sure that's covered nicely. Pop it in your fridge while you get on with the rest of the ingredients. And the rest of the ingredients for the sort of base layer of this are here. It is just simply desiccated coconut, icing sugar, condensed milk and vanilla. And all I'm going to do is mix these all together until everything's well incorporated and spread it over the white chocolate. And that's that layer done. And there we go. That's the coconut, the icing sugar, the condensed milk and the vanilla well mixed together and pressed firmly on top of the white chocolate in my tin. All I'm going to do is pop this in the fridge just while I'm getting on with the caramel layer, just to give this a chance to firm up a little bit before we top it with the caramel and the toasted coconut. But here we go, that's the bottom and the middle layer done. I don't know how many layers we're gonna count this as having, but um, here we go, into the fridge, let's get going with the caramel. Okay, so the next step is a simple caramel. So in my little saucepan, I have butter, I have condensed milk and hiding under the condensed milk is some sugar and some golden syrup. So all I'm going to do is put this over a gentle heat and just heat it through gently until this has thickened and darkened and gone beautifully golden and caramelly. Um, keep stirring it. Um, these are the instructions that I usually give with caramel. Keep stirring it, don't leave it unattended because it might catch and burn and you don't want that to happen. So just let it bubble gently, don't let it boil. Just let it bubble gently for a few minutes until it's thickened and you can sort of see the trail of the spoon or the spatula through it and it sort of stays there for a little bit while you do that. Anyway, on with the caramel and then we pour that over the base that we put in the fridge. Right, the caramel is done. It takes a little bit of time because I keep my heat low and I stir it very frequently. You can see it's thickened up nicely, it's beautifully golden, it smells delicious. The next stage is just to pour this on top of the coconut base that you have in your fridge. And then the final step Toasted desiccated coconut on the top, simple as that. This I put into a, like a small non-stick frying pan. I put my co coconut in there and toast it until it's got nice and golden brown. It's one of those things as well, you know, don't forget about it. Don't just leave it unattended and forget about it because it can catch as well. But just until that's a nice sort of golden brown color and you get the lovely toasted coconut smell coming off it. Um, so yeah, simple as this. I'm gonna pour this over the base Sprinkle this over the top and then into the fridge for everything to set. Right, so that's caramel over the coconut condensed milk, white chocolate base. You don't even need anything to spread this. You can just pour this on and then tilt your pan from side to side and it will spread nicely to all the corners. A couple of bubbles there, but they don't mind. They don't matter. Toasted coconut over the top, into the fridge, and then you have two big coconut delights. So there you go, a nice even coating of the toasted coconut on the top. As I said, I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge until everything has set and then we'll cut it up into squares. No big coconut delights. 
So keep an eye out for more recipes. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your family and friends. I'll see you again soon. And tree bake some more.